So with Thailand behind me, Cambodia to the left, up ahead, the amazing Koh Kud, my final destination. I'm gonna find my hotel, put my bags down, and go and grab myself a nice cold beer. And then I'm gonna find out how much it's gonna cost me for a motorbike and decide where I'm gonna start on this fantastic little island. I'm so excited about this one. This is apparently, I've been told, the best island in Thailand, um, mainly for its cleanliness, um, its beaches, its clear water, uh, its food, and generally pretty much anything else you want to add to the list. Well, after nine hours, nine and a half hours travel, I finally arrive at my hotel. Uh, this is the S Beach Hotel. And this is my little chalet. I've got a little balcony here. Entering into my chalet. So this chalet works out um, 1,500 a night. So around 35 pound a night. Here we have it. I am arriving at Klong Chow Waterfall on Kokut. Please wear a life jacket before. Well, I'm not planning on going swimming, but if I do decide to go swimming, I'll put a life jacket on. Anyway, apart from that, wow. This is just so picturesque down here. Unspoiled territory. Hope I'm going the right way. Looks like the kind of jungle crossing you'd have to get to a waterfall. I could be wrong. Ooh, I see more people. That's always a good sign. So what a fantastic privilege to be here. And just look at that. How amazing. Yeah, I'm talking about the waterfall, not me. What a fantastic place to be, what, if ever I've been impressed, this is definitely one of those moments. It's a little bit tricky to get here, but well worth it. I mean, that is just an absolute picture within itself.
So, yet again, I have found another little spot of paradise. If it's beautiful beaches you want and absolutely picturesque views, you've come to the right place. This place is amazing. And on to Seafar Beach Resort. Little restaurant to the left. This is supposed to be one of the other perfect beaches on the island. Lovely little beach chalets. I don't know how much they charge for those. Probably around the same price as anywhere else. Generally speaking. Look at that fantastic little beach. This is the Seafar Resort. And yet again, absolute paradise within its own right. This is the Seafar Beach Resort. This water is just so clear, and so inviting. I'm so tempted to take a little swim here, just because I think it would be rude not to. Loads of little fish in the water. I don't know if you can pick them up on this camera. But yeah, loads of little, there's one over there. Swimming along, looks like a snaky pointy nose sort of fish. Garfish, I guess you'd call that. Can't see it very well, can't, don't know if I can zoom in on it. But there you have it. Seafar Beach Resort. Lovely little pier. And again, the water is just so clear. Do you know what? It would be an absolute sin not to take a swim here. So that is what I'm going to do. And listen to that. The only thing I can hear few birds twittering in the trees, the sound of the waves splashing softly upon this white crystal sand, the wind in the coconut palms and that's about it. So romantic, so lovely, such paradise. What more could you ask for? No police sirens, no screaming kids, no shouting lager louts no people screaming and shouting perfect call me old age if you want but i like it and it's just the way it is beautiful heading down to klongli waterfall in kokud very steep steps going down but there is rope to hold on to, a set of steps going down here and then onto rocks. Again, maybe trainers would be more appropriate. Oh yes, and that makes it all worthwhile. How beautiful, absolutely fantastic. Let's see if we can get a little zoom on that. There is actually people swimming in there. Enough on that matter. Well worth getting to though. Goodbye Kokud. Been an absolute pleasure staying here. And I am now heading for the White Elephant Resort in Ko Chang. Leaving Kokud, I'm taking the Boon Siri Ferry, which will take me to Trad Ferry Port. From there, I will get a tuk-tuk to a different port, which is gonna cost me 60 baht. This ferry trip from Kokud to Trad is 500 baht. The tuk-tuk to the next boat port will be 60 baht. 
and then from the next boat port, I will get a ferry boat to Ko Chang Island, which is gonna cost me 160 baht. Bye.